Hello my dudes, dudettes, and everything in between. Welcome back to Clive Games. And today we're going to be continuing on with our Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV by diving straight into Tamtar Deepcraw. Probably one of the most disturbing dungeons in the entire game. Not because of the enemies, but because of the idea behind it. If you don't remember who we're uh, trying to find in here, I highly suggest you go watch the last episode. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. This is a fun one, but it is a difficult one. Because the DPS and the tank have to be on top of their game. Are we good, tank? Come on. Alright, cool. We got tank stance on. You don't need to warn uh, portfolio. You can if you want to read, but most people don't want to read. And you'll get and you'll fall behind because it is quite lengthy. Oh no. Not too bad a pool, not too bad. I had to spend a little bit more mana than I would like, but it's okay. Right, you don't have to interact with anything. Oh, this tank is not wasting any time at all. Yeah, they hit a little hard, but, um, they go down pretty easily. He needs to face these enemies away from us. Just a little FYI, my new please. Now this one, please, 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 for the love of God, do not directly kill the ads. Agreed. Do not worry about them. I can heal. It will not be a problem. All right now, he's going to get all the zombies after him don't and if you saw me I got the other arrow that use that to kill the ads do not kill them directly please Otherwise, they're going to keep adding Volnstag, as you can see beside our names. Oh. To the point that it um, they can pretty much one-shot you. Someone attacked the... Um, someone attacked one of the zombies, but that's okay. Just one sec isn't really that big of a deal. And 
and yes, you have to interact with the, all of these crypts. You have to, there's no way around it. They die really, really quickly. Hey, crit shield. Don't interact with all of them, you can't go through that wall over there. Yeah, I would like it if you grabbed all the enemies. Wow, they really are okay. I don't know if it's just our DPS is that good or what. Say it's our DPS, it's just that good. Oh, and if I didn't mention before, when the person who interacts with the crypt gets stunned, feared, whatever you want to call it, um, and they can't do anything. So generally, you want to have someone who can do a, uh, their own stun attack to an enemy ready to do that. This guy, do not let him take any damage, none whatsoever. The more damage he takes, the more power he does. Next, you want to interrupt these orbs with your own body. Alrighty. Yet again, another round of orbs. Taking damage, please. Great job, tank. All right, next, these big ones. I got it. I got it. I got that super shield. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. No damage whatsoever. Pyo Rayo dies, you lose the fight. So just be very aware of that. Keep the um uh, Keep the boss away from him, unlike that tank did. I don't care if the tank is standing right in front of a portal and might ignore, that's fine. Just please do not, for the love of God. Uh let the um Pyo take too much damage. Oh god, you're gonna kill us, you're gonna kill us, you're gonna kill us, I don't know if I can handle that. Why do y'all keep getting these? Uh... Oh yeah, those floating orbs will explode, so just be aware of that, please.
Oh god, it's her. And that's a bear's head. Look, Avera, all these people come to make you a gift of their souls. Isn't that kind of them? Even Clive is here. Now your dream of becoming like him can come true. Oh, that's so creepy. Alright, so don't go stand in the center. You're gonna die. And show and kill any ads that show up. If you don't, they're going to. And you have to keep them because you have to keep them from reaching her. Oh. And for every enemy that reaches her. One of these glyphs will sh um will glow. The more glyphs that sh glow, the more glyphs that uh, glow, the more damage that move does. Now there's going to be a bunch of AoEs for this part of the fight, just be ready. They can be lines or they can be circles. And more... Enemies... As will take presidents. So that we don't take too much damage, like that. <laughs> Now you can just burn them down. There we go. And I beat a dungeon. Uh, girl, girl, girl. Do a flip. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Oh my god. As she falls to her death, she makes an evil smirk. Oh. Cool beans. It's finally over. Would that it could have been different, but what choice did we have? Let this be my last act as an adventurer. I've done quite enough harm as it is. I mean to go home and live out my days and... Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, no! It, it can't be! Ah, a 
I'm sorry, please forgive me. Oh, God, that was creepy. Oh, that was super duper uber creepy. Alright. Now, back to the main story. So, in the last episode with main story wise, we finished up Ramu. Um, and then Mephilia told us that we can take some time to reacquaint ourselves with the people here in Moradona, and that one of the little Doman children wants to talk to us. Yozan, I think. So, but real quick, got all the accessories I can. Let's get. Uh, we need to upgrade our other stuff first. Let's uh get some new headgear. Look at it a little closer. Not bad. And I think you can um change it so it like actually covers your eye. I found that very cool. But that's cool. That's a new gear for our scholar. It's Mr. Clive! He's back from his adventures! We heard you were off fighting primals, and that they were some of the strongest enemies you could ever face. I wish I could see you in battle. Anyway, we all want to be heroes too, so we finally formed our very own Doman Adventurers Guild to protect all the Domans. Oh, do you think you could train us today, Mr. Clive? Maybe you could show us how you fought the primals? What's all this commotion then? Mr. Boulder, Mr. Coltonet, did you know that Mr. Clive is back? So, it would seem. Welcome home, Clive. My companions and I, but my companion and I, but recently became full members of the Scions, and I believe proper introductions have yet to be made. I am known as Hori Boulder, and this bookish fellow is Coltonet. Though we remain largely unproven as adventurers, we have taken it upon ourselves to instruct the Doman younglings in the art of combat. I told you, Mr. Boulder, we are not your younglings anymore. We are adventurers. And we were just asking Mr. Clive if he could give us some special training. I think we are ready to hunt monsters alongside him, don't you? Whoa, no, 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 children. Well, you've certainly been diligent in your drills, but I'm afraid the fiends of Mordono are still ever so slightly too dangerous for you. I have a counterproposal. What if I were to cross swords with Clive? Whoa, dude. Isn't that a little too R-rated for them? A demonstration of our skills at arms, if you will. Oh, that's what he meant. Okay. Ori, if I didn't know you better, and I do, I'd say you were merely seeking to test yourself against a legend. <laughs> well, perhaps I am. But what matters the motive when the children stand to learn so much from the lesson. What say you, Clive? Would you consent to spar with me? Uh, sure. Hurrah! We're to have a tournament! Come on, everyone! We must prepare our gear for an outing! A tournament usually implies there's going to be more than one fight. Do try not to disappoint them, hmm? <laughs> He's saying that to his friend. Have faith, Coltonet. I shall summon every last ounce of my strength to make of this a worthy contest. 
Beans to the east of town should prove suitable for the fields to the east should be suitable for our purposes. I very much look forward to our bout. As you wish. It's good of you to agree to this, Clive. I trust you are ready to begin. Might as well get it over with. I mean, you won't really offer that much of a challenge. Well, actually he may, considering I still have good gear. Very well, let's not keep the younglings waiting any longer. Ahem, Ori? Are you certain you wish to fight him alone? That is Clive, your face. What better way to test my mettle? Pray allow me to attempt the first round unaided. After all, it was the hero's legend that led me to join the science to begin with. Without Clive to inspire my efforts, I would not be half the warrior I am today. Your point is well made, but remember, this is for the children's sake as well as your own. Should it appear the contest will end too swiftly, I shall add my spells to your blade work. <laughs> Hello? You haven't begun yet, have you? Ida? Ida? What? Who are all these people? When I heard about your sparring match, I told everyone I could find. Thought you could use a crowd to cheer you on. Yes, and there are still more to come. When I mentioned Clive's name, the reaction was quite enthusiastic. Why, my own popularity seems to be a sickly shade in comparison. You best claim victory, bringer of light. Your burgeoning reputation is at stake. Well, our teacher won't be so won't be beaten so easily. He's a master swordsman. You can win, Mr. Boulder. We shall soon see. On your guard. Oh, what? F you. I barely touched you, my dude. Sure. Are y'all touching me or are you just trying to like poke me? Y'all aren't doing crap to me. A book. You, you have bested me. I yield. Ah! 
That was incredible. He beat them both at the same time. We knew you couldn't lose. Who the fuck are you? None could have beat the guardian of Eorzea. No, I see why they send you to deal with the primals. I have much work to do if I am ever to attempt the same. I expected a larger crowd. Impressive as always, Clive. It is ever a pleasure to witness the spectacle of your martial prowess. And judging by the smiles on these many faces, they too appreciate the hard-won strength that keeps the perils of the realm at bay. Guardian of Eorzea. Yes, that is a most fitting title. Do you recall when we first met? It was at the memorial service for the Battle of Cartano. At the time, I was yet attempting to understand this land of Eorzea. I sought to grasp the reason why Grandfather willingly sacrificed himself to protect it. I shall speak plainly. My initial impressions were less than favorable. Dire problems abound, and yet the effort I saw expended towards their solution was haphazard and half-hearted. I thought Eorzeans a foolish and childish people. Considering the shambles their home was in, I would not have been surprised if some had chosen to swear allegiance to Gaius and the order he proposed to enforce. Villagatus' single-minded military invasion precluded any such switching of loyalties, of course. <clears throat> Were it not for the desire to continue Grandfather's legacy, I would have abandoned the realm to its fate long ago. The threats were too many, the nations too self-involved and unstable. He's not wrong. It was you who convinced me the salvation of Eorzea was possible. It was you who taught me, through countless acts of bravery, that what my grandsire sought to preserve was not the land, nor its history, nor Ingle, nor any single nation. <clears throat> it was the people, these wonderful, often infuriating, stubborn people, that suffer blow after terrible blow, only to drag themselves back to their feet to face another day. Though he never puts such feelings into words, I believe Grandfather's admiration for this inextinguishable courage grew into a fervent wish, a wish to aid Eorzea and its inhabitants in charting a course for the future, a wish that has now become my own. Oh, that's sweet. I too will endeavor to take up the mantle of guardian of Eorzea and champion these people who toil towards a better world. Our cause, however, is not a simple one. The troubles that plague us are of a scale that cannot be solved by the signs of the seventh dawn alone. No, what is needed to tackle the root of the primal threat and effectively counter the schemes of the Asians is a new expanded organization that operates beyond the limitations of nations and borders. If you would aid me in building such an organization, then pray, let us continue this discussion back within the walls of the Rising Stones. talking out as often now. Thank you for coming, Clive. The world shifts and alters, and we, my friend, must ever be one step ahead of the chaos. 
What I propose is the formation of a new organization, a group that shall pave the way for a truly united Eorzea. Sounds ambitious. All the same. Alphano wishes to request your assistance for his new endeavor. Okay. Pray forgive me if I tread over old ground, but I would prefer to speak of the grand plan. Since the advent of the seventh astral era, the leaders of the three nations have been deliberating over an accord that seeks to bring their dis uh, disparate, disparate forces of Eorzea together into a single entity. A realm-wide grand company, if you will. The military might of such an institution would be drawn from every corner of the land and directed against threats that no single nation could hope to overcome alone. Yet, while the purpose of this hypothetical organization is undisputed, the logistics of its formation have become the source of endless debate. And the longer these discussions continue, the more I sense the impetus for its unification draining away. Thus have I been campaigning for the creation of what might be considered a trial company. It will be on a much smaller scale than what we hope to eventually achieve, but capable of the same manner of unrestricted operation accorded, accorded to the science. It is my hope that the successful utilization of such a force will lend mom momentum to the lagging deliberations. Dude, please use smaller words real quick. I don't know. Also, urgh, being a primarily military outfit, I mean to assuage fears of its misuse by placing the fledging organization under the authority of the antecedent. The Scions work tirelessly to protect Eorzea and its people. But as you yourself have witnessed with the refugee revolt, there are limitations to what even we can achieve. With this new company under the Scions command, however, we will be capable of responding to a wider range of difficulties without straining our resources or overtaxing your formidable talents. So all I'm hearing is I get to do less work. Sounds good. The goals of my proposed organization and those of the Scions are ultimately identical, a point conceded by all concerned. But before I can move forward with establishing the precursor to the true border-spanning Grand Company, it is yet necessary that I visit the three leaders and gain their official approval. A tiresome and time-consuming task, which is why I would ask that you accompany me on the journey, and attend to the business of recruiting your inaugural members while I am otherwise engaged with bureaucratic formalities. Thank you. It is reassuring indeed to know that the bringer of light and his discerning eye will be selecting our future allies. Our first destination will be Limsa Lumensa. Let us rendezvous at Bulwark Hall. Alrighty. So while he's doing all the boring talky talky stuff, we get to go recruit people for this new grand company. That's dope. But that's all the time I got for you guys today. Uh, if you want to keep uh, have the notifications of when my new episodes come out and when to see how this story progresses, uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you want to see in-game content of this game or me playing other games, uh, go check out my Twitch account. But other than that, thank you guys for coming and I hope to see you all next time.